Hi there, my name is Anup and I'm from Nexen Innovators. Today's topic is what is image lazy loading and how to test it. Many times a developer has implemented the image lazy loading but tester don't know how to test it and what is image lo lazy loading is exactly. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the two major things as per the perspective of tester or whoever wants to test that image lazy loading has been properly implemented or not in their website. So let's get started. So this is our website uh, on which we have to test image lazy loading has been properly implemented or not. So first of all, let's understand what is image lazy loading. And this web page is so long and there is lots of images on this particular page. That should not be loaded because I can only see this part. And specifically if I talk about this part, if user is coming on your website at the first time, so he just see your first slider means your second slider and third slider should be loaded when it become visible. So this is the theoretical concept of the image lazy loading. Let's see in the action. So what do you have to do? You have to right click, you have to inspect element and then you have to do Then you have to do, you have to go in the network, you have to remove the mobile filter. Now what do you have to do? You have to remove all these things, you have to reload the page. The page has been reloaded and I am clearing all the stuff. So see this is the second one. This is the sound one, this is the next image, this is the this image, this background image has been loaded when the, this slider become visible. So if I'll scroll down, this this is the viewport, this viewport is only visible area. So whenever any image port comes into this visible area, my lazy load may my lazy load port should work and should load that image at that time. So if I'll scroll up little bit so this image has came and you can see this image has been loaded before that it, it wasn't loaded so we can say we are we are here saving the data of our client and user so as per the Google Google wants the end user like whoever is using your website should use their minimal level of data the mobile data because they are paying for that so using the image lazy loading we are implementing the same thing because it it may possible like user is coming on your home page and just click on the enroll and then just fill the form and went back so why he pay for this like if your image is around 100 kb and if you are wasting their data of 100 kb extra and he is not able to see that particular thing or not want to see then don't waste their data so this there is one perspective of google and second perspective is if your uh, 10 images 100 100 kb at the bottom and they are total about 1 mb so 1 mb size of web page we can save using image lazy loading so let's move on the next part uh, to understand this better so now these three images has came in the visible area so these three images has been loaded and just i'll scroll up and these three more images has been loaded so you can see uh, the image url is starting from image generation.php so basically there is a compressor uh, which is working on this because here we just need the image size of 750 into 0 0 means we can we are getting the proportion size if this image is we are also using at a larger scale and client can upload very large image because client doesn't have that much of knowledge so we have enabled a compressor which auto crop the image in this uh, we have implemented the lazy loading so uh, if, uh, default to wordpress image system doesn't work so we had created this particular custom compressor which works on this plus our lazy loading uh, now if we scroll down a little bit more so you can see this girl has been lazy loaded and this the girl size of the girl is 125 kb means 
at the initial we had saved so if we uh, talk about the each size that we had it had lazy loaded this is the 130 one, uh, 103 kb then desktop is 43 kb then 37 kb then 77 kb and then 69 kb so you can see uh, we are saving lots of user data using the image lazy loading so if you're doing uh, testing of this particular website whether image has been loaded or not so whenever you are scrolling so whatever image you are going to see should come over here so if there is an image which has been loaded at the first time means that image isn't lazy loaded this is the youtube lazy loading so youtube videos doesn't affect on your page speed I have implemented the AMP. AMP is the latest framework for mobile optimization. You can go on this website amp.dv and read more about it. So next question comes, how to test image has been properly lazy loaded or not. So here I am going to talk about especially in my case that is a little bit technical. So what you have to do, you have to do right click, you have to do inspect element okay then you have to go in the network you have to put the filter of images because you don't want to see everything because here you will get uh, fonts uh, and code and js css because image lazy loading lazy loading just work on images so i just want to see the images i just click reload page so i am getting lots of images so these images isn't lazy loaded and this logo is not lazy loaded so if you'll see in the initiator initiator is the website means when first time this website is loading then this when website this this particular url the web page web page url is initiator means that is coming directly without lazy loading and if i'll just scroll up and just let me remove all, everything i just scroll up and you will get this image has been loaded lazy loaded so if I click on this and if I'll see the initiator, there is a JavaScript which is working behind this. Is the initiator and this this image is act asynchronous. So you can easily find out which image has been lazy loaded or not by finding the initiator. If initiator is the page URL means that image is not lazy loaded. And according to uh, you can also see the waterfall, but that is little bit more complex. Another is very basic method if you don't want to read the initiator or the headers you can just close it and you can just little you can scroll one by one then these three images then th these three images has been lazy loaded so that's perfect this is also perfect initiator and there is few icons uh, I think which is coming down this these three icons also lazy loaded and these icons there were a few icons here this icons initiator is also lazy load means this we are also saving the details of this like if we if you'll see in the preview uh, this icon is 1.5 kb so we have also lazy loaded this few small small icons and if we have if we have lazy loaded this particular icons total number of requests get reduced when we check this particular in the google or in we check in the gt matrix so uh, there is a girl and these icons and this we will talk about we will scroll down this image is also lazy loaded you can easily just click on the initiator and you can just load complete page because you have to just scroll up and down all images has been loaded lazy loaded and what you have to do just click on this and just click one by one next 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 all initiator is some javascript some short of javascript because if if that image is lazy loaded means there is some javascript is working behind that instant of url so just you can click 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 oh uh, there is something the initiator is youtube means there is no javascript working behind it. it directly loaded from the youtube means lazy load is, is not implemented on this but it's not possible on the youtube embed uh, because it already so much optimized uh, by implementing the AMP that I have explained just before this now let's see 
Now let's see one major effect of this. So if we click on all, here you can get the complete page size or resource size. So if I'll do hard refresh, hard refresh is if you, if you are in window, you can press Ctrl F5. And if you are in the Mac, you can press Command Shift R to do the hard refresh. And if I scroll up and down and you can see this first image and this is the second image this is the third image and all the image has been loaded and all the javascript and all the things are, has been loaded so if you, you can see there is uh, around around 23.5 mb of total resource uh, has been loaded and if you load it to the first time and right now it is 3.9 mb transferred means something is coming from cache so you can see this this is coming from cache so this is two things this is a total page size and this is the transfer it means something is has been in cache but i have most of the things i have done lazy loaded and if you'll see on the gt matrix the size will come under the 1 mb uh, if i'll show you so just i am talking about like i have done the image lazy loaded i have done the javascript lazy loaded i have done the css uh, even lazy loaded and the, the pages is coming compressed like all this resources is coming compressed if you talk about the base css base css is being done it, it helping in the youtube player and it's around 1.3 mb but the reduced size is 429 because i have done the gzip compression if you don't know about the gzip compression you can watch the video given the description how zzip and because zzip is very simple method to reduce the complete web page size because if you'll see every size has been reduced every resource size well, this is actual size is 1.3 mb but when once user will load from the server it comes in 429 kb and if we we'll talk about uh, any css let's say just put the filter on the css and if we we'll talk about our website this is the style.min.css the, which is the main css file of this particular theme which is actually it is 53 kb but its reduced size is 7.8 kb so i i must recommend to, to you to watch that particular video what is easy compression and how to do it and now you can see uh, the fully loaded time is 3.9 seconds and the page size is 491 seconds so you can see the power of the uh, lazy loading and if you'll see uh, the actual page size is 24 or you can say 3.3 mb and right now it's coming in just 941 kb and the request size also has been reduced just i was talking about because the lazy loaded things is not being counted on this particular so the only 56 number of uh, requested will be less the more your web website will be efficient because if you are uh, using more number of requests means you are engaging more your server and you need more powerful server to request that particular i hope you are getting uh, what i mean uh, so let's move on the second page like on the second page uh, first of all you have to clear everything and you have to do hard refresh once you'll do the hard refresh just filter out the image because we are just testing images has been lazy loaded properly or not so I'll click on this, I'll go in the initiator, this is, has been done by the lazy load, and I'll scroll down, this, this is the image, I'll just scroll down everything, and all images has been loaded because they have, they are visible right now, now just I'll click and I'll click one by one, uh, this image is not uh, lazy loaded, okay, so we can do which image, so I'll just copy this, and I'll just copy this and copy and paste and this I'll just see you this image is not lazy loaded uh, so what I can do uh, I can make a list so to write this uh, let's convert this particular tab in the editor so you this is the text that you need to just click and you can write in the browser anything so what we can do uh, we can just copy this error like on which page i have done what and this this is the page url that i am testing this is about us page and this about us page i am getting which url just i need to just put the url because developer will get easily 
where the image is so I'll just put paste this is the first image then it's taking formatting so I just control it control find paste cut and then paste this is the first image that I found and then where I am right now over here so the we'll call the initiator this is the initiator one two this is the lazy loaded the bison js then some of this is about us is this image is also initiated is directly by the page so i'll see which image it is okay so this is this must be lazy loaded here it is okay this image i think this is the image yeah this image is not lazy loaded yeah exactly so background must be lazy loaded and what the resource size of it we are leaking we have leakage of 27 kb we can save this 27 kb if we have done this image as lazy loaded so let me list this the another url so this is how we find the leakage in the current particular scenario and then we fix it one two three four uh, we have done this initiator and then this is the initiator by lazy load it's okay and this is the component okay this particular background image so this particular background image you can right click from here and you can open in a new tab that's nice this image is also coming directly and the size of this image is 20 kb uh, which is quite huge so this image is here this image also should be lazy loaded so i have done what i have done just pasted this url so this image is also this and then this is the image who is the initiator initiator is the lazy load then then next is this logo uh, logo we are not lay we are not about like we don't this is not recommended to lazy load the main logo of the website so we just leave it this is the edge loader we don't need that this is the gradient line which is 2.6 kb uh, okay who is the initiator this is also not lazy loaded just let me list whatever the decision from the developers will they will take so let me paste here and then we are going here this the initiator initiator is directly theory batch dot svg uh, this is icon these icons initiator icon the initiator is lazy loaded there is two icons where is are these two icons where are these two icons now let me find this theory batch dot svg again just copying this i'm going in the element okay these icon these white icons are uh, is not lazy loaded so if i go here and what the size of this is 5.7 kb means they, they are quite huge because uh, they are around 17 uh, not 17 8 or around 8 so uh, 5 into 8 is around 50 kb which is huge as per as point of view of speed so they must be lazy loaded so i can directly write uh, icons on at left side the svg one is not lazy loaded oh no icons are not lazy loaded i'm also doing practice of english so might be So this is the thing and then let's go on this the who is the initiator uh, initiate lazy load wow oh, that's good then oh no with this online portal let's see the image in the preview this is the online portal okay this is the icon let's go in the preview this is the initiator who is the initiator is lazy load wow oh. So this is the header image in the preview in the response in the initiator. Initiator is directly coming. 
uh, this is the icon okay icon i have already listed all icons this is the initiator initiator lazy lazy load okay that's okay then let's come back on this this is svg it must i think this is the part of that okay cool and accordingly icons 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 the initiator is fb event okay so the i, I think uh, yeah, this there's the, the pixel of the facebook how facebook tracks the page so let's leave it it's third party so this is also interesting to know how they send the data in the images and i'll explain you in upcoming videos how how facebook pixel work and if you need to make your own facebook pixel using php uh, sorry if not facebook pixel lock like this kind of pixel how you can do this so this is image generation initiator lazy load this okay and this image is also lazy load this image is also lazy load uh, this is oh, this oh, this who is the caller initiator chain is the top okay so about us is calling this particular js then this js is calling this particular svg it's for the chat part so you, you must be a little bit technical in point of view if you want to do like there is few tools comes in with the audit part you can just click on the audit and you can find few things but what is possible to lazy load or what is not possible to lazy load to know this you must be technical or you have to be better understanding just see this if you get some idea you how you can find so it will be more good so it is uh, used this is a callback and this is the callback in the talk it's also talk we can't do anything in this this is the fca and this fca is one two three load z okay nice this is initiator again this is the talk again calling so see uh, if we'll talk about the talk resources t a w k everybody put some chat resources so 1.7 mb uh, around uh, is being used using the talk part so what we have done uh, we are initiating that particular code uh, by lazy loaded this this chat is also lazy loaded i'll explain you somewhere how we to lazy load this particular thing because it's not affecting in our web page speed as initial after the five second it get initiated so this is also a awesome technique that has been uh, hit and trial by me and i got some level of success so it's currently it's not affecting the website speed so anyways it's out of scope so i hope you get uh, understanding how to find the errors if you are going to check uh, image has been lazy loaded or not so you have to make a report like this you have to put the url and those image you find you have to just put, uh, put those urls means this is a page url and this is this, these are the images urls those are not lazy loaded developer will automatically get uh, how what to do with these images and if that's not possible because at some extent it's not possible to lazy load them so they will inform you so i hope you get better understanding uh, how to test images lazy loaded or not so just go on your website or your task if you are a tester and just prepare a report and if you get any problem just comment in the comment section i'll surely come and reply to you thank you bye bye if you really like this video just hit the like button and do subscribe to get more videos like this in the optimization and the speed part thank you bye bye